www.decibets.com मैं बलराज खन्ना तुसी देख रहे हो मेनू decibets.com ते Hi, this is Faisal from DesiBlitz.com and we're here today with acclaimed Indian-born artist, author, Balraj Khanna. Balraj, tell us a bit about your background. Where were you born? Some of your childhood memories? Um, please enlighten us. I was born in what's now called Pakistan. And after the partition of the country, my family were obliged to move to the Indian Punjab. But living there, in the mountains surrounded by very lofty mountains and in the background you could see very high himalayan peaks snow covered blushing in the sunset leaving on you an indelible impression of beauty and i think that was the first seeds of my being an artist can you recall your first ever painting that you did yes it was not a painting i st- started drawing Mahatma Gandhi and when i finished the drawing i showed it to my brothers my brothers they you know they went like that and they showed it to their friend and the friend their friend could not believe that i had done it it was so life like so accurately done and he put the draw my drawing above the picture on the cover of the magazine to make sure that i had not cheated but of course i had not right so that is my first memory of association with art so to speak growing up who were your favorite artists i was very fortunate in having known quite a few of them rather well this house where i live presently once belonged to the great indian artist francis souza naturally i was a great admirer of his he was much older than me and when i came to england i met him i met another indian artist avinash chandra they were both very successful here in the in the, in the 60s and they sort of became my mentors and it is i was not influenced by them in terms of my work or in terms of their work but i was deeply influenced by them in terms of their commitment to their work so that inspired me and infused me to have to inculcate to develop a belief in myself i think it was there all the time but you need some you know certain moments in life you need some catalysts to bring things out of you however it was that few months in france in the french countryside which allowed me or which um made me see nature in a different light with, with fresh eyes and for instance i started painting nature or landscape not as it looked but how it appealed to me to my senses not in the way the impressionists the french impressionist painted landscape but my own version of impressionism which was simpler and um more linear and i loved it and when i came back to london with a body of work showed it to people and they said damn it you you know you ought to have an exhibition so somebody sent me to a gallery here um and the gallery took me on straight away and we had a very good show and ever since i've been re- exhibiting regularly and I've, ex- I've had more than 55 one man shows nationally and internationally with scores of other exhibitions etc Lucy Marshall um director of the Indian Art Center is presenting your first 3D digital exhibition titled Balraj Khanna a journey of his own tell us more about this how did this idea come about well you see for a f- young french person to recognize the merit of emerging or the indian arts of today is hats off to her we met at a lecture care of sadabis institute of education then we met again at the launch of my last book and lucy said she wanted to come and see my work and then you know that was the beginning of it When I first approached Bharat Kana, I just launched my online gallery at the Indian Art Center and I wanted to put some of his paintings on my website because I thought they were really interesting. 
and then the idea matured and I thought why not create a 3D online uh, virtual exhibition uh, that could give a very realistic approach of how paintings could look in different environments. How has the experience been uh, working with the large community? It's been really great, I'm really happy I met him. It I learned a lot of things uh, about his work, of course, but also about modern contemporary Indian art in general. It was really a learning experience working with a great um, character like him and um, and as he is a bit older, uh, he was able to teach me many things that he, he had experienced throughout his life, really. In, 19, in the mid-60s, a book was published, one of the most remarkable books on art, by an Indian author and an art critic called Ajit Mukherjee. These tantrics were um, very mysterious people. They lived a mysterious life. However, they had the most remarkable art so modern that when you when it was first seen through this book the world was staggered you've heard of you know this term tantric sex right but not in a very direct or a, <laughs> um, recognizable way but in an abstract metaphysical way hmm? they have different symbols to suggest different shapes for instance you have the tri a triangle represents the, called the yoni, the, the female principle, and I wanted to give it a sexual connotation too, because the tantrics were known for their sexual um, um, mysteriousness. So I had this idea of representing that notion, hmm? but I introduced a new invention of my own: these threads. Hmm? Threads, thread for the Indians is a very important thing. Hmm? The Indian, the Brahmins, who are the top of the heap, they wear a thread across their body. It's called a sacred thread. Um, I borrowed the idea from that, you know, from that practice, and I introduced two strands of thread running up and down, carefully chosen thread, thickness-wise, so that it doesn't you know it's not too thin or not too thick and let it go aspire to the heavens that is moving to the heavens from the from the base from the earth to the fella up there <laughs> does spirituality reflect in your paintings that's a very good point you see it is fundamental to our art and again i have inherited it unconsciously without making any any effort to, 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 to present it or to portray it, I think such things must happen um, intuitively. So I paint intuitively. And intuition often is the best guide for everyone in every sphere, certainly so in the, in the arts and literature. A 19th century British writer had said, that all art tends to attain the harmony of music. And without my actually trying consciously to attain this status, this harmony in my work, it has evolved by itself. It does come by itself. As if I'm singing in myself all the time. And by the way, in the old days, when I was painting, I used to sing loudly the songs I had learned, Bollywood songs I had learned in India as a boy. What influence has your Indian roots had on your paintings? Our, our civilization, our culture is full of colour. I remember as a boy in the Punjab, in the villages, you know, the ladies are dressed in wonderful, wonderfully coloured skirts and saris and salwar kameez and so forth. And in Rajasthan, if you go there, um, I was I was there once a few years ago, not a few years ago, 30 years ago, and I was quite staggered to see how colourful that place was. I'd never been to Rajasthan before, and when I came back, I painted a very large painting, 12 foot by 6, um, capturing the mood of what I had seen, the colours I had noted, and I called it Coming from Rajasthan. That painting is now in uh, the Arts Council collection. Finally, what inspires Balraj Khanna? Love, love of my family, love for my family. 
friends they inspire me friends work friends dedication to their work literature other great artists of the world you know we talk of uh, the 20th century art is a very long cavalcade of great artists and again the inspiration doesn't come through their actual work it is how they conceive the world how they see the world and how they portray what they believe in or feel etc that is inspiration the best moments of the day for me are the very early ones dawn or soon after dawn in other words early morning early mo- morning you wake up you are fresh the world looks fresh to you hmm? you it seems a different from the day before and you are moved by it um even though we live here in a very concrete jungle as they put it um but there is still beauty all around us that is inspirational too